If I said to you that this entire shape was made with one circle, I'm not sure you'd believe me, but that is the truth. So what we're going to look at here is just go back to my profile. If you look at objects like this, these were the, the this the, this micro bit here was made with um, just rounded squares and squares and circles, very simply made. This was made with the pen tool. This is made with the pen tool. So what we're going to look at here is we're going to create a new file and I'm going to show you just with um, a single shape how you can use some of the tools already embedded in the shapes. So let's try and recreate a simplified version of that cog. So I'm just going to click on the ellipse tool and we're going to make a circle. Now that the circle is active, we've got some options over here. We can change the color by just clicking on the slider and choosing the color that we want. Let's just stick with that yellow, that was fine. Every time you use it, it picks a different random color for you. So let's just stick with that yellow, that's fine for the minute. Um, you can go over here, you can choose your color again and change the size of the um, boundary if you want to, and that's entirely up to you, that's all good. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I can make a complex shape with just a circle. So first of all, I'm going to copy that circle and I'm gonna make it smaller. And again, if you wanted to lock the dimensions here, we can um, put the exact dimensions in by typing down here. So if I wanted to make this exactly 40 pixels, let's see how it's both have changed to 40 pixels. So you can get the exact size that you want. That'll do. Now for the purposes of what I'm doing here, I'm just going to change the color of this. I only do this to make sure I can keep track of what's going on. So I'm going to do that one and then copy this one and I'm gonna make this one 170 pixels. Locked. That'll do us. Now perhaps a bit more. Let's take this down to 150. Let's just make this exactly as we want it to be. So I'm just spending the time here getting this exactly as I want it to be, rather than just hand drawn. Right, there we go. This one I'm going to change the color of as well. So I'm just setting things up here. I want this circle to be in the center, and I want this circle to define my shape. And you'll see why in a moment. So I want to make sure that this circle is exactly in the center of my circle. So to do that, I'm going to highlight both of them and then I'm going to right click and then the align function comes up and I can align center, which it's centered, and again, align middle. There we go, and it's put it exactly in the middle. That's exactly where I want it to be. And now I want to use this here as my cutting tool. So, so far we've only used this one circle and we've cut it, um, we're using it, we've copied it several times. So now I'm going to copy this green circle several times as well. I'll just do, let's just do a few. So what I'm going to do now is use the align tools and I'm going to basically make this circle sit inside the yellow circle as far as the blue circle. And you'll see why in a minute. So now I want to center those two up. Yep, they're centered the same way. I'll go to the middle here, put this one in the middle. And then this one will align up with that one. Yep, so I'll get that one aligned up with that one. That's better. There we go. They're all aligned. Let's just put this one here about 45 degrees. Put this one here about 45 degrees. And then put this one here. And so on. So, I mean, if you wanted to make this more complicated, you could do. So all I've done now is basically put circles around a circle. Let's just pull this one out here. Now, if I highlight this all together, there's a toolbar at the top here that gives us four or five options. So this one here would change the shape to look like that. This one here would delete everything. And this one here cuts out. And this one here combines. So you can see we can 
very easily and very quickly make a complex shape out of one shape. So let's just put this back in the center here, like that, and center it up again. So align, center, align, middle, and let's do this. So, well, this seems to have disappeared. What do we do now? Click on this, we can bring to the top, put that in the center like this, and do the same thing again. So right click, align, center, align, middle. Now we have made that complex shape out of one circle. Now I'm going to group these, command G, and so now all of these have been grouped together, they can be moved as one. So if I wanted to now I could just copy this, and of course I can scale this, so let's make this, uh, let's, let's make it 50. 50%, so let's make it 90 by 90, there we go, half size. And so we've made a very simple gear or cog with that. So if I wanted to save this, we can click on file settings. Let's call this gear two or gear, save file name. That's now been saved and I can now download that if I want to. Let's go and check and make sure it's arrived in my profile. And we should see it, there it is there. So let's um, have a look at how we make something um, more complex like this. So I made a very simple car here and to do that I made the pen tool and I used the um, circles to actually layer together to make a, the, the wheels but most of this is done with the pen tool and in the next tutorial we'll look at the pen tool and how to make more complex shapes.